All right, welcome everybody. Let's begin chapter three. So 3-1 is gonna fly by really fast. It's just like basic info, basic stuff that you've probably seen in the past, but it'll be a quick refresher. But when we get to actually 3.2, it's gonna be like, yes, let's learn some difficult stuff. And um, yeah, we'll get to 3.2 very soon. But here at 3.1, we're gonna knock out really fast. So um, 3.1, uh, describing and exploring and comparing data values. So for this lesson, it will be very note heavy. I'll have a lot of notes. We'll have some, some examples, but it should, be, it should be nice and easy. So let's see. Uh, for the first part, please have this in your notes. Um, measure of center is the value at the center or middle of a data value set. We'll show an example very soon. Uh, here, the next part, the mean. So I'm sure you've heard this word before. You say the mean or the average of a set of data values is the measure of the center founded by adding all of the data values and dividing it by the total number of data values. So uh, very simply, let me get my pen. Uh, yeah, so if I wanted to find the mean of these numbers, 14, eight, 10, and, and uh, let's put another even number, four, how do I find the mean of these data values? What do I do? I just add these numbers up. So I do 14 plus eight plus 10 plus four, and then I divide it by how many data values there are. There's one, two, three, four data values, and that'll be the mean. So what is 14 plus eight? 22, 32, 36 over four. What is 36 divided by four? My pen is running out of ink. This is nine, okay? So the mean for this for these four data values is nine. Okay, I'm sure you've seen that before. Um, okay, next part. Important properties of the mean: the mean of a data set of value uses every data value. A disadvantage of the mean is that it's just one extreme value. Okay, this maybe isn't that important, but but some something I had in my notes before. Okay, now this will be very important here. Within statistics, we're going to be using certain symbols that we need to be consistent with. Okay, so this symbol here is called uh, capital sigma, and it denotes the sum of a set of data values. So just like how um, these were our data values over here, notice that the sigma of these data values was 36. Okay, you're just adding the data values. Capital X is the variable usually used to represent the individual data values. So, you know, this could be, X could be this value, X could be this value, this value, this value, right? Little n represents the number of data values in a sample. So notice that for this example over here, what is our uh, little n? It'll be four because there were four data values, okay? capital N represents the number of data values in a population. So here we're going to use uh, little n if we're talking about a sample and we're going to use capital N if we're talking about a population. Here, how do you read this symbol? You're going to read this as x bar. Okay, and let me actually zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, I zoomed in too much. Okay, okay, that's better. Here, how do you read this symbol? This is X bar, right? And X bar denotes the mean of a set of data values. So here, to, to actually, um, so X bar will denote the mean. So here, if I wanted to find the mean of these four data values, X bar is just equal to nine. Okay, and let me uh, get a new pen. Okay. Um, Okay, let me get some new paper over here. So here, we're gonna have two notations. Here, we're gonna have mu, so we're gonna have this in our notes, mu, and we're also gonna have uh, x bar, okay? So notice that mu will be used for population, and x bar will be used for sample. So when we talk about mu in this example, notice what would be the, sim the notation to solve for population. It'll be sigma of capital X 
divided by big N because sigma denotes, let me zoom out a little bit. Notice that sigma denotes the sum of all the data values and capital N represents the total number of data values within the population. So we're just gonna have sigma X over big N. And likewise for sample for X bar, we're gonna have sigma of little x over little n, okay? And these are the notations that we need to get used to. So Greek symbols, we'll always talk about population and how do you pronounce this or uh, write it, it'll be mu, and this is uh, uh, x bar, okay? And yeah, I have this over here. So x bar, we'll talk about the mean for a set of sample values and mu we'll talk about the mean of all values within a population. Okay, let's go to the next part. And uh, yeah, we had this before, or I kind of, this is a little more organized, so the mean is sigma x. This is for a sample, right? This should say sample mean. Sum of all the data values divided by the number of data values. Caution, in stats, we never use the word average. So from now on, we're not allowed to use this word average. We're just gonna not say it or try not to say it. Uh, so people in stats just say mean, okay? Let's go with the next definition. This I'm sure you've seen before, but the median is a set of me measure of center that is the middle value when the values of the original data are arranged in order. So for example, if I wanted to have these data values, if I had, uh, Let's find the median, right? If I said uh, one, two, three, four, five, what is the middlemost number? You play the game of crossing one to the left, one to the right, one to the left, one to the right, and notice that your median is three. But if I had data value something like this, one, one, two, three, four, five, right? Uh, notice how this is an odd number of data values. So we'll always find the middle point. But if I have an even value, even, actually let me not use these numbers. Let me use one, two, three, four, five, six. If I have an even number of values, notice this one cancels, 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 cancels. What are you left with? You're left with three and four. So what's the median for these data values? You just take the mean of three and four, and that simply means you just do, what's the average between three and four? It is seven over two, which is 3.5. So 3.5 is the median of this. Okay, next one. And um, if you feel like you needed to pause and rewind, go for it. And remember, if there are any other questions, you always put it in the comment section and I will um, explain it more. But median, pretty straightforward, right? Important properties of the median you could have in your notes. Like here, for mean, we have, um, notice that for mean, we have certain symbols, right? We have X bar and mu. For median, what is the symbol for median? Um, it's not, uh, some people use this, some people don't use it, but you could say X tilde, X tilde will show median, okay? Um, yeah, all right, so for the next part, mode, the mode of a data set is the value or values that occur with greatest frequency. So a data can have no mode, one mode, or many modes. So yeah, how often does a data value occur? Let's take a look at some, let's look at these three examples here. Here, what will be the mode for this data set over here? If I have one, two, three, four, five, there is no mode because no number occurs more than the other. What is the mode for this data set of values? If I have one, two, three, three, four, five, the mode is three, because three occurs the most. Here, what if I have, here's an example of a multimodal. If I have one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, what is the mode in this data set of values, just this one here, it'll be one, two, and three, I'm sorry, one, two, three, and four, okay? And here, um, same example, bimodal, if there's two modes then, if I look at one, one, two, two, and three, the mode will be uh, one and two, okay? I kind of forgot this a while back. I forgot that there could be no mode, but then, uh, yeah. So quick little refresher. 
The mid range for a set of data values is the max value plus the min value divided by two. So let's say if I had, what is the mid range of one, two, three, four, five, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to just take the max value plus the min value divided by two, the mid range is three, done. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna go very fast through chapter 3.1. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, is there, what are the things that are necessary? Um, oh yeah, so here, round off rules for the measures of center. So notice that for mean, median, mid range and um, one or more decimal place is present in the original set of data values. So here, when we're talking about rounding, okay, rounding will be important in stats. For example, if you have, let's say two, three, and five, what is the, what is the mean, right? What do we do? We're gonna add this up, divided by three data values, and we have 3.3, .3. that's the mean. But then how do you actually round this 3.33? How do you round this? Is it how many significant digits? Notice how there is here, we just have whole numbers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just round one decimal to the right if we have whole, like one significant digit here. For example, let's say if, if I had uh, 2.2, 2.5, and 2. I don't know, seven, right? And I said, what's the mean over here? Well, let's add this up. This is two, five is seven, four, one, this is 7.4. And then what do we do to find the mean of this? What is 7.4 divided by three? I have no idea. Let's see, what is 7.4 divided by three? Uh, let's take a calculator. Uh, 7.4 divided by three. Okay, notice how it is. 7.4 divided by three is equal to 2.466667, right? But how are you actually going to um, round this? Because we had two significant digits over here, we're gonna round to three sig significant digits here. So we're gonna round it to 2.46, but this six is gonna go up to a seven because this value is six over here. So this is 2.46, okay? So that's the basic idea of rounding within stats. And yeah, that's it. Um, there's also, what else is within this chapter? There is frequency distribution. Uh, we don't need to go over that. Calculated weighted means, uh, we don't need to go over that. I like to do this stuff in person. To do it over a video is kind of annoying. Um, okay, that's good. So 3.1, we're done. The next chapter, 3.2, um, the next video will have to be very patient, okay? And I will make that next. I'll see you there.